of it. But when it comes particularly on uh, to AI for tech, uh, for photography, Edgar, one of the things where iPhones, computation photography, like all the phones do it, they don't express the image that we s truly are capturing. Like when we capture a photo, it change, it mm -hmm. tries to guess our, our skin tones. It tries to make the right. the the light, you know, the the sky look blue. Right. When it comes to just being you know, taking away the Christian part of things, when it comes to doing photography, where do you draw that line of like, I'm a Photoshop everything so that everything looks good and making sure I'm really giving the person what I really captured? Where do you draw that line? Can you I'm sorry. Yeah, no, you're good. So like when we do, when we, when we take pictures, we edit them to make them look better. Right. We, you know, make them color. We make the dress look brighter. Or, or if you do film or, you know, we edit yeah. and we color grade it. Yeah. Where do you draw that line of like, I'm editing it to make it look really good. But at the same time, you're as the more edits you do, the less real it is when it comes to what you really captured. So where do you draw That's that? Where do you draw that line? It's hard for me because I, I'm a person that I don't like heavy edits. I used to when I started off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when we're starting off, we're like, we don't have expensive equipment, so we go heavy on the edits. <laughs> and I, it's, it's a learning experience. But me, today, day, I, I like storytelling. So I don't like editing too heavy. Cause I don't want to, I don't want it to lose the essence. Yeah. The essence of what I'm trying to tell, what the story I'm trying to tell, um, the vision of the client, like whatever I'm creating, I, I don't like doing having heavy edits to take away from that. Yeah. That's why it's a little bit hard. Cause I'm not really a heavy editor now. So I, I keep everything as natural as natural. Yeah. Show like you know, to show the the essence of it. of the essence. Of it now when it comes to that you know uh, Anthony, of editing and drawing the line. Obviously, we have all these filters on Instagram. We have all these things. At what point does that become uh, vanidad? Not it's not vanidad, but like uh, does it become like self indulgent that you're you're faking something that's really not there and it becomes and lie to yourself and you're also taken away from what like God's creation. Do you think there is a, a line that we could pass that we're like not expressing like the truth of God's beauty? I don't know. Cause it's weird. Cause sometimes I've taken pictures where it actually looks worse than what it actually looks in real life in, in person. So then you have to edit to make it look more real. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like it actually is. But obviously, there's a point where if you hype up the filters and stuff too much, it goes like, yeah, super exaggerated. So, I mean, I like, like I, th I don't think it, I don't think it matters. It's not gonna. I, th I mean, it's just one of those things where like beauty standards have changed because of how much edits there are available. Like, it's mm -hmm. not just that like, oh, we do edit. I mean, in a grand, you know, small scope of things, that really doesn't matter, but. As photographer, I, as photography becomes when, better yeah. and all this stuff, because of that, we're able to take away so much where girls think, oh, per if I don't have perfect skin, if I have one pimple, like I'm ugly. And it, it is right. not only like in a small thing where, oh, like, let's keep the essence. Like it does create a, a problem. So in that. We, when it comes to that, that's the difference we have to establish when it comes to photography of us. Then, yeah, that comes into play because, you know, our ego is going to get there, our vanity, or I want to look spotless, yada, yada. Now, when it comes to, like, nature or other things, then that's that's what I mean. It doesn't matter. Like, if you want to, if you take a picture of this mountain and you want to buff up the green and make it look in the sky more blue, like. Yeah. So, when it, it doesn't matter. But now, when it comes to us, like, social media and trying to look perfect, then that's when that ego comes in that self-indulgence that vanity yeah so as so again so as christians should we be using these like should we be just saying this i god made me i have a pimp on my face i don't care <laughs> or should should we like in indulge in these filters that make us feel and also make us express a beauty that's not really there i feel like there's a lot of uh a lot of self-confident where 
unfortunately, a lot of people like showing somebody who they're not. Um, and you see that everywhere in social media, Christian community, not just, you know, mm -hmm. in general, as Christian showing somebody who, who are not. Um, and I, I see that in filters, um, not just in like appearance, but, you know, showing ourselves like something where we're not in Christians. Yeah. So, um, I do see that a lot, um, but I don't condone it. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Because you're you're showing somebody. I don't know. I, I mean, I oh, I'm saying, I, I'm saying, you wouldn't condemn wait. it, or you would condemn it. You're saying it. No, 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 no. I would. I, I would. I would. Like, I don't. I don't agree with it. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 The, the thing is that it's tough because then we go into like where do you draw the line? Females wearing wearing right. makeup as well, so it's like yeah. they can wear makeup but not use a filter. So. Techn technically makeup is a filter so it's like where do where do we draw that line yeah, that, so it's like yeah it it's tough because even if we think about it even like i guess it all depends on the intention of of our heart if we're doing it because we don't like how we look or we want to look better or whatever or or like for example with god he wanted everything the best he wanted everything wrapped in gold. Mm -hmm. The priest wore the most expensive linen, wore gems all over. So it's like, yeah. I guess it just depends on on the on the on your heart whether you're doing it for vanity and stuff like that. So, and as well, I feel like your wife wants to look good for you. Yeah, you know, obviously, you know, yeah, they're gonna, you know, <laughs> I right I think it's it's <laughs> one of those things where it's t especially doing weddings like. Yeah. Not only girls, but guys do the same thing. Like they want to like have the freshest cut. Like it's like all these things, right. but right. it's and even when I do photography as well, it's like one of those things where like we're like we're giving a fake image of who we really are. Like we're doing this for a day and stuff like that. And I think, especially like you said, like as we do photography and as edits become more accessible, like iPhones and phones could like change, like do a do one filter and you look like completely different and it looks real. <laughs> And I think it's yeah. one of those things where, like, it's just like you said, uh, Anthony. It's tough to to draw the line because if we say no to filters, yeah. makeup is a is a, a physical filter that we we put on. Yeah. And then and you could like it's there's so many layers you could draw the line, but I think it's one of those as photographers it's hard because obviously the client wants to feel as good as they possibly can, so you're gonna edit like obviously you're not just gonna take a picture if they're like have something on their face, you're just not going to remove it. So it's so easy to do it. But it's also one of those, as at least Christian photographers, as we edit more, are we truly, are we indulging in their own, like are we complicit in their own self-indulgence? You get what I'm saying? Like if we edit, if we edit because we know that we want them to look good and we're like right. falsifying the image, are right. we complete are we in, in like you said condoning them using filters to the for them feel better i mean they are paying for professional filters, <laughs> <laughs> so you know i'm i'm not a i'm not a big like opening up the screen and taking pimples and all that stuff i i try to make it as clean as possible yeah i'm not picky with specific like that but they are paying for a, I guess, a professional job, so they want everything to look good. But sometimes it's like they want everything to look really fake. Yeah. Because it's like that's not how you looked at your wedding. <laughs> you know? Like that's, so they want to really have clients before where they're like, I want you to remove this and that and this and that. And it comes out of the picture. It was like it's just a whole different person. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's. Wow. I mean, like you said, it's. Uh, you know, Anthony separates the work from the person a lot, which I don't do as much. Um, mm -hmm. And I just think it's one of those things where, like, it's our duty as well to make sure not only does that person understand that beauty is who you are, but also right. if we continue to be part of the culture of making beauty fake and not real, we ourselves are right. playing a part in making beauty not uh, the beauty standards fake. Right. So, if, mm -hmm. like you said, oh, we're just being we're just being paid to do it. Like, let's say we're doing a, you know, a GQ magazine cover, or if we're doing a Vanity Fair uh, cover, 
Yeah, obviously right. they're going to want it to make sure it looks like the beauty standards of today. But if we always do that, are we ourselves taking part of that lie and just continue to make it worse? So I think it's – go ahead, Anthony. Yeah, yeah. My thing is that, like, <clears throat> we're not called to change people. Mm. So we're not called to j- – poke them and jab them and be like oh look this is not really you you have to accept yourself like we're not called to change people we're called to present the gospel and let god change them and so i don't like i guess there's a there's a like a subtle or smart way to do it like hint at them oh like i'm gonna make it look natural but you know we at the end of the day Remember, we have we have to represent Christ first, mm-hmm. and He tells us to do everything to the to the best of our, our abilities as if it was to Him. And obviously, we're if we're doing something for Christ, for God, we're gonna make it the best, make it as perfect as we as we possibly can. So that's another way to look at it. But also, it's like, like I said, we can't change the person. Yeah, but so. it's like, for example, if we take a picture of the of heaven. We're not photoshopping that. We're just gonna take a picture and give it how it is. Mm-hmm. Why? Yeah, yeah. But why wouldn't we? Why would we? Yeah. Why would we do it if we're like God's creation? And if we're viewing like God's creation is perfect, and we're accepting that, why would we care to do anything else but giving the perfection of God? Even if we feel it's not, shouldn't we? I mean, I'll ask you, like, shouldn't we? I mean, I edit my pictures. It's not like I don't edit pictures. I edit my pictures. I do fix it. But, like, shouldn't we be just giving and standing firm saying, as I, even though I'm a photographer, I believe everything I capture is God's creation. So why should I? It's not my responsibility to change it because it's already beautiful. It's more. Be- I can't make anything more beautiful than it already is. That's yeah, rough. That's, that's not what you're getting paid <laughs> for, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now now I remember what I was gonna say. That that's why, as Christian business people and entrepreneurs, we're always overlooked, and we don't get the growth that we should get because we're always battling all oh, this and that, and looking at the beyond stuff, and then that hinders our business from growing because. Every time we, we got to do some, we got to fight with theology and this and that. And yeah, there's some, there's, a, there's some stuff that is, you shouldn't do. Like if, if they're saying, saying like, go photo shoot for, for like something that is obviously you shouldn't be there yeah. or you shouldn't be doing that. But if it's something like, because you don't want them to think that be part of their vanity like you there's nothing that you can do that like their vanity is their vanity and that's between them and god and god gonna like yeah you can be like you can influence them in a certain way but at the end of the day like you can only do so much you can't change the person's heart and so this this um this might be (laughs) hated by women but this comment but Women are never happy with themselves <laughs> how they look. <laughs> like, you know, so they could try to look, you know, how they look, but I, then they look at it, take a picture, like, I don't know, like, I don't know. I'll, like, do something with my face, you know, or like, or do something, you know. And, and the daily I, I work, I, you know, I work with a lot of, uh, in the studio where we do a lot of headshots, we do a lot of portraits. Yeah. And every time you show the pictures and we do prints and when they look at it, they're like, oh, you know, I don't like this. I don't like that. I don't like this. So it's hard because it's like, especially if they're not Christian and we, <laughs> we come with that, Stance. you know, that you are, God created you You're like You're beautiful, this. girl. Like, I'm paying for you to like, make me look but let's just better. Take out the non-Christian. If we're doing a wet, right. if we're doing a Christian wedding, let's just go like Christian to Christian. Okay, okay, Christian. And they're like the same way. They're like, <laughs> edit me to the to the to the upteenth. Shouldn't we be like? Shouldn't there be a line be like, girl, like, do you not understand that you're beautiful? Like, I know you're saying like we're just doing this, but I know you're saying it's God to change their heart. But even in preachings or like if we're if we have a friend, 
yeah, God's going to change their heart. But if we have a friend that we know is struggling with self-confidence and always doing this, as a friend, we would tell them, hey, don't do it. Like, you need to find yes, God. Right? So we do at some point try to encourage change. Obviously, God's the only one to do it. But we do stand firm and say, hey, this is wrong or this is right. If we know someone is doing something completely wrong, we, we'll call them out if we're a friend. So what? So what's the difference between a friend doing it and photographer saying, hey, listen, especially if you know they're believers, I mean, obviously, every person has their own style. So some, like, for example, Edgar, you don't, like you said, you don't over edit. So they already know you don't do that. So if they're hiring you, they know what type of style you're doing anyways. Yeah. But in general, shouldn't we, as cr the Christian community, shouldn't we automatically be like, okay, we're not, as a, as a whole community, be like, there's a certain edit we're not going to surpass because we're taken away from God's beauty and trying to inter make our own. But it's it's the way you say it too to them well, that it doesn't come off like saying you know like like bro like, <laughs> yeah you don't <laughs> you're just gonna offend them more it's yeah offend bro, them yeah. you don't want to offend them yeah, yeah. with saying <laughs> like, like I no, said no, bro fine as you are <laughs> like there's examples where God wanted the best like for example bring me a sheep with no blemish. He created the one with blemish, so mm -hmm. he should accept any of them. No, but he wanted the perfect one that was perfectly white, no little. So even God. Yeah, but that that blemish, then that sheep did exist in real world. It's not like they Photoshop or painted a one that had blemish. It's basically like in your. It's like saying I have one with blemish. Let me paint them all white and then give them to the Lord. That's fake. It's not a real. It's not a real white mm -hmm. white thing. No, but he created the one with the blemish too. So why can't he accept the one? Because that was your argument that whatever he created is perfect and beautiful. So yeah, it's it's and and the Bible says the Bible says like for example, if we're fasting, don't go out looking like a psycho. Go wash your face, clean up, make yourself look good. So no, so there's instance in the Bible where you're told, hey, look better. I want the better thing. I want the nicer looking thing. So, yeah, I mean, it's unless you're going to be like, no, I'm not going to I'm not going to do your session because you're too ugly you're too, <laughs> and, and then I'm going to have to edit too much. <laughs> it's just one. Of the, it's like it's tough because you want everyone to feel beautiful and all skin, but also people could be, quote unquote, ugly out of their own undoing. Like people sometimes don't take care of themselves or people sometimes they feel they feel less confident because of like their weight. And that's not something that's because of their own doing. Like they're they're either they feel like that because of their own doing. So I think it's so just edit it out. <laughs> so it's it's one of those things. Where, it it's one of those things where like a, <laughs> it's not your fault either. It's their fault for for feeling like that. But it it is something that I've thought about. Like, yeah, how do we how do we tap into that and draw that line of as even as we post our own photos or as we edit photos, how do we? how do we kind of decide decide that it's 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 a it's a hard line because like you said there's digital yeah. filter there's physical filters and we accept one and how come we can't accept the other what i would say is that like have a conversation with them if if you want to do the like the you know the jesus talk with them and and help them out and lift them up like have the conversation with them like hey i'm i'm not a heavy editor i feel like showing the natural beauty so here let me show you with a light edit because you know like encourage them that way but don't be like i'm not gonna do any <laughs> edits period like still leave that door open if they still request it but yeah. you know show them in a subtle way like, yeah it's look this looks good even with a little bit of like right. yeah right. It's, it's, we have to be wise you know no listen i was i was when i took my pictures i was trying to pose i was show my chest out so i i get it but it's it's you want to look the best for your wedding but at the same time like you said edgar sometimes we we overdo it and then we it not only in just weddings but like everyday pictures is becoming more and more common because edits are so much more available mm -hmm. and i think not only as the photographer but as every christian not just woman like there's a certain mm -hmm. line that we should understand that we're beautiful in itself and filters aren't as needed